What is going on guys, Ben here. In today's video, what I'm going to be showing you is like a must watch video so you have the best chance of catching any Pokemon out there and like the, the basically the hidden myths and everything about that about catching Pokemon and then after I'm going to show you some of my like uh, rare catches that I've had after when I was hunting out hunting in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Uh, so basically let's get right into it. So you go to this website pokeassistant.com and it has like you can is an IV calculator there's a bunch of other things if you want to check out these sites I'll leave it in the description below but what this is is it this is the catch chance or the ch the catch chance checker if you will if you will but yeah my webcam froze it does that from time to time but okay so as you can see right here you may be wondering what all this stuff means so I'm gonna explain to you how to like get the best catch rate for any Pokemon so this is and it depends on the Pokemon itself too so as you can see just base right now, it's, you have a catch chance at 75% for a Pidgey that is not a really high level or anything like that. Level 4 Pidgey, so I don't know what CP that is, but it's a pretty crappy one. But as that, watch as the circle moves. As the circle gets smaller, the better catch rate goes up. So the catch chance for if you get the small, that's, that's right there is the best toss you can have. Getting that circle super, super small. Now I do want to say it does not matter when you throw a Pokeball if you get it within that circle or not like you guys know say say the the size of the, you when you threw a pokeball it was that big and you landed a pokeball within there and you got a great toss a great toss and nice toss or an excellent toss does not determine anything about the catch rate i mean you get xp from those you get xp bonuses from those but it actually does not affect the catch rate at all so say you get the size of like a pokeball or you throw your pokeball and the ring around the pokemon is this size and say the pokemon is not nowhere near within that circle that doesn't matter you'll still have an 89 percent catch rate uh so it does not matter if you get that pokeball in there and along with that there is no evidence that curveballs add any catch rate at all it's literally just about the size of this what pokeball you are using because using ultra balls of course gives you the best chance and then also the color of the pokemon which is determined by what level it is what cp it is and stuff like that so as you can see as it gets darker the less chance you have to catch it as the size if this ring gets all smaller the more chance you have to catch now for instance let's move to a snorlax here because i've been having trouble catching some snorlaxes as you guys know if you've been watching my videos <clears throat> you also see one of those later in the video too um but as say you're using ultra ball with a snorlax and this snorlax is a beast it's it's fully red level 30 that's probably like a 2800 snorlax or something like that and you get you get a perfect toss on it you have a 30 percent chance of catching that thing if you get anything worse watch how drastically it changes so the catch shank goes down as this circle gets bigger so if you get like a terrible toss this is considered a terrible toss you'll have a 20 percent chance of catching that um and if you're using a great ball it's even worse um because you can move this a little bit bigger or more more there we go so now you have a 15 percent chance of catching it so basically use an ultra ball get that circle as small as you can curve balls do not affect the catch rate at all it's literally about this circle um, if you're going for XP though, I highly recommend like if you want to rank up faster try and then to get your Pokeball like in within that but if you can't get a curveball on the super far Pokemon, it doesn't matter um, Just go over to the straight tosses and then if you Getting great tosses or whatever within that circle does not matter at all either. It's literally only based upon this circle size um, That's just something I'm trying to like hammer down to let you guys know so you can like you can use this as well so basically say a Snorlax pops up like this Try and get this as small as you can, doesn't matter if you curveball or anything. And also one last thing, it does. The raspberries, there is no evidence that raspberries e affect this catch rate at all either. Um, in, in the game it does say that they do help catch Pokemon, but maybe in the way like if you give it a raspberry it has less chance of fleeing. It doesn't do anything to the catch rate, so those are just some myths. I hope that guys, I hope you get, like that helped you out in the understanding. Um, and with starter Pokemon it's even worse. The last one we'll check here is a Charizard. So, say we have a Beast Charizard, so we get a side, we, say our toss isn't the best, but say the color is like really, really red. Using a Great Ball, it's 5%, and I think using an Ultra Ball, like it's probably like 6%, yeah. So, if you get a Monster Charizard, and you get a really good toss, you have a 10% chance of catching it. So, it just depends on the Pokemon, if there's any Pokemon we need to check out, but one thing I'm going to tell you, if it's rare Pokemon, just try and get that circle as small as you can, and you should be good to go. Hope this helped you, though. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. What is going on guys? It's Ben here. In today's video, we are once again going to be going hunting. I'm probably going to go to Nina though today. 
to stock up on some much needed great balls and ultra balls because I have less than 20 ultra balls, less than 20 great balls. I'm going to New York City soon. Um, at the end of the week I'm actually going. So basically if I'm going to catch a Pokemon there, good Pokemon, I need better. I need more ultra balls and great balls. So I'll be going to Nina. I can like do a loop where I can get like 20 lures in like a circle. So it's like a great way to stock up on items. So that is an hour away. But for a little bit I'm still going to be hunting in Green Bay. I'm going to be shipping out these... Pokemon Go Pluses today um, to the winners. Basically, I like a lot of you said, how could I win one? I, the giveaway is already over. Um, it was on the giveaway. I had a tweet for it and a video that I made and picked winners on it. So those are gonna get shipped out. Just have to go to the post office. Uh, today's been crazy though. I've been scanning the radar when I was making my videos, like the um, my Pokemon video and my Vangler video today, and I saw two Blast toys like on the radar at once and then I saw a Venusaur like an hour ago but then I stopped looking because I was kind of mad like I couldn't go get that uh, so that's the plan for today I'm gonna show you guys my I'm gonna show you guys my gear that I take I take my two phones I got the iPhone 7 um, and my S7 um, this one is what I use to record and then I run a hotspot from this phone to be able to play Pokemon on this phone um, because this is the and then I scan with this one and sometimes this one too so that's what I do and then I have Usually, I only bring one of these, but I'm gonna bring two today because I don't know how long I'm gonna be gone. But these last forever. I was charging this one last night. It's the, it's the Anchor Power Cores that literally charge your phone forever. Um, so I have two of those, and I bring it all in this little Twitch bag. But yeah, we're gonna head out now. See what we can get. All right, guys, we just got done shipping the pluses out. Uh, we spent about, I'd say, a little over an hour in the post office because we had to write all the addresses and I had to get like proper packaging to get it there. And then there was quite a bit of, there's quite a long line. So that's all done. Now we can start hunting. Yo guys, I should have been out hunting this morning because like I said earlier, there's like, two Blastoise and a Venusaur. Um, ew, there's like hair on my camera thing. Ew. But yeah, and then a there was a Dragonite that spawned in Green Bay. It wasn't anywhere near me, so I couldn't get it. I'll probably show you the picture. It was like way across town. Uh, but still, like, it's still cool to know that like I can hope for a a Dragonite or Venus. So pretty much anything can spawn. It's just like the probability maybe down. Um, basically comes down to is like if there's a crap ton of Pokemon that spawn in an area, it has a potential to spawn anything. So yeah, every your place may only spawn Weedles and Pidgeys, but it does have a potential potential to spawn anything. So um, I was just encouraging to see a Venusaur and Dragonite earlier today, but that was like two hours ago. And since then, this is the first thing I decided to go after, which was a Dratini. So. Other than that, it's been pretty slow today. Hopefully it picks up soon. So since it's been slow, I pretty much just went for the slow bro. And the only reason why I'm showing you because I was sad it actually is CP33. Oh, oops. Didn't mean to throw that Pokeball, but yeah, this thing is jumpy though, man. And it was actually kind of hard to find. It's like, I don't know. I'm on like an alley street kind of. It's really weird, but there we go. Hopefully we can one ball it with that. I mean, it's only CP33. How hard could it be? There we go. We'll check the moveset on it, but I just had to show you guys that how low it actually was. Um, thank God it wasn't like a blast or something. It does no ice beam and everything. We'll check the IV on it just because it's above average, but hey, CP33, I guess we'll take it. All right, guys, uh, we made it to Nina. Um, I spawned a, quite a bit of the lures already, as you can see. So this is like the path that it goes. You get these four. And then you go down here, you go through that park where all those lures are up there, as you can see. So you get all those. So this is my fastest way of getting back my items. So currently, you can see I already hit all those stops. So I got some of them back. I'm up to 29 Ultra, 20 Ultra Balls, 29 Great Balls. I do have a Incense and Lucky Egg because this Pokemon Go Plus is going to be going, going ham. I did put my Dragonite in here, but we'll see how long that lasts for. So I collected my Defender bonus. But yeah, I'm going to stay here for probably like an hour or two try and stock up on as much items as I can and then I'll let you know the recap or if I catch anything good here basically uh, like I just stated before for the last like couple I'd say hour, I've been at this for probably two hours now uh, I've just been doing the continuous loop of hitting all those lures and then hitting these lures back there um, and I just lured a few of them and a Charmeleon popped up and I was just in the zone because this thing what you do is you well, when I'm driving around I catch a Pokemon with this and then I'll spin it, stop spin a lure um, as I go. And I was just nonchalantly thinking because I popped my lure. And then I'll show you guys my journal here. So sadly, 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 
I accidentally just clicked it, not thinking it'd be something good. I clicked a Pokemon to catch it. Since this only throws one Pokeball, the Charmeleon ran away. It was only 16, um, 611, but I'll show you guys my count. I've been getting rid of all the potions and stuff like that to keep make room for the Ultra Balls and Great Balls. So I'm back up to 114 Great Balls, which is good, and 40 Ultra Balls. So it's pretty successful. Uh, we're gonna go at this for a little bit longer though, and I'll keep you keep you updated. So after a couple hours of trying to farm gear and stuff like that, basically what we got was we weren't prioritizing catches or anything like that. Any like the good catches, we we're just driving around, letting the Pokemon Go Plus take care of all the catches while we spun the lures. We ended up with 148 Great Balls, which is like 100. 100 more, I don't even remember how much I had, like 30 maybe, so 110 more. 50 Ultra Balls though, we had like 18, so that's really good. And then Raspberry Count, we're up back to 118 as well. And then I got rid of a bunch of Pokeballs and potions along the way. Uh, for my Pokemon Count, you can see my XP has gone up a ton. Uh, I was running a Lucky Egg because I actually encounter a lot of Pokemon with a plus because it, it like all these are lured over here and there's just a lot of random Pokemon, so that's good for that. I'll show you guys the recent, recent catches. I caught like a Dratini, a Bulbasaur, and some other things, a lot of Magikarp, but this is what the majority of like the Pokemon Go Plus caught. Uh, one Electabuzz there, and then that Charmeleon ran away. I wasn't, like if I would've been sitting at the lures, I'm sure I would've got a lot, a lot better stuff, but still, that's good for evolutions and XP, so that's a good way to rank up too um, for myself, and I still can do a bunch of evolutions later, but I'm pretty happy with the result today. I may be back a little bit um, to get the ultra ball count back up but I'm probably gonna head home now um, and I'm, maybe if I see something on the radar I'll go after but who knows alright guys so right after Nina got the Snorlax I was scanning by the time I do have to take a massive poop but <laughs> shut up girl <laughs> but yeah I'm talking to Carla on the phone right now but like this road to get here was terrible it was like um, you can see, you can see that guy right there. <laughs> He's trying to get the Snorlax too. But 2400, dude, another 2402. Oh my god, thank god I got all these Ultra Balls racked up. It's like, there's like four cars following me, man. Um, oh my goodness. I was, like, I, oh, I hope I catch this. I'm just so pumped when it popped up. Let's go. Come on. Oh, it broke out. No! Oh! Bastard! <laughs> Mother effer fled me. After one ball too, come on man!